Speed Down Memory Lane. I'm Zach and Tans Ready, and this is Michael Annette. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, bud. You ready? Yep. Yeah, this one, this one's really special just because it was, uh, it was my first win ever. I think a lot of people know I grew up playing hockey and, uh, really was only in late models full time for about a year and a half. And by the time we went to ARCA and ran this race, so really didn't have a whole lot of opportunities like kids winning a bunch of go-kart races or late models, you know, growing up and you know four or five years in late models at their home track so this was my first win really ever so this one was special and just that car was uh that bill davis prepared it was an old uh ward burton uh mm -hmm. caterpillar car and that they had they had worked a bunch on and and uh that thing was just the gap it could hold there with you know they're all lined up and it could hold a car length to car length gap and really uh was remnant you know the win at daytona this year was reminiscent to, to how strong that car was. Mm -hmm. Guys just could get lined up but couldn't really do much with it. So it's a, it's fun at super speedways like that. Makes uh makes them a lot easier when you yeah. have strong cars like that. Yeah. Here's another one here. You got a close call here, but you somehow get through. Yeah, that's pretty much wrecking without wrecking. Um, <laughs> And, and that that was a cool part we went on to, to finish third in this race uh, uh, back in the old uh, locking bumper days uh, I had really uh, really no teammate at that time we were a single car team with the the petty car and and lined up behind Austin there on that last re that late race restart and was just committed to him right here I thought he was gonna he was gonna duck back low and and you know just the typical uh, uh, tandem racing that we had and you know brought that up so it was a shame to tear that that race car of theirs up but you know you either loved or hated tandem racing but i had some uh, really good you luck with that, it yeah, yeah so yeah it, it was fun i didn't necessarily enjoy it but definitely um um had some good finishes and good runs with yeah. it yeah this goes back to 2013 it's a wild day yeah this one hurt this uh yeah i want to forget that one i still got the hardware in my in my chest from that one um but it was kind of the same kind of the same thing that happened with uh with that the wreck with austin i was pushing elliot there at the end and and kind of got, got loose behind him with the other cars coming in and, and just it was uh the quickest trip to the wall normally i have time to figure out what part of the wall you're going to hit and that time it it just happened so quick uh there wasn't much to think about actually when i uh when i got out of the car i thought my lower back was broken that was the only thing that hurt and really didn't notice the the sternum deal till i went to unzip my suit so mm -hmm. definitely uh you know that's the thing about daytona people have memories like that but then my latest memory is bringing the trophy so that's that's what's so cool about that place yeah. you feel it instantly when you hit the wall or it's a little bit later? like i said i thought it was my lower back yeah. uh that that was the only thing that really hurt and it, like I said, I went to unzip my suit and noticed there was something sticking out that shouldn't be. Right. Yeah, we're we're looking for <laughs> this. This took a while to get cause so many uh, times we had to stop because we were laughing so hard. Uh, but a lot of fun. Kind of had this idea to to run the Baby Ruth car in the off season. It was kind of thinking about the Rick Mass school car and knew we wouldn't be able to put the actual school, you know, work out a deal there just with the rules NASCAR has. So thought about the Baby Ruth car. Actually, one of the first die casts I had at home was the Baby Ruth car. And, um, you know, was fortunate enough to our partners with Pilot Flying J. And obviously there's a lot of Baby Ruths that are sold at their stores that we were able to, uh, were able to work something out. And it, it's really cool. Everyone runs the throwbacks, but when you're able to, uh, able to put the actual sponsor on the car it makes it that much more special we've seen it with the mellow yellow car and in last year tyler pulled it off running that old milwaukee call so um yeah now this one this i'd been at junior motorsports almost two and a half years and they hadn't got me yet and this one i was just in a we'd been there for about five hours and we were in a hurry i was in a hurry to get out of there so i was just doing whatever the heck they wanted me to do to, to get him to say yep you did a good job so should have seen it coming but like i said two and a half years they finally got me but still just <laughs> you can fun. see and hear how much fun we were having that day i yeah. was crying laughing more than anything it was a lot of fun
<laughs> so dumb. <laughs>